Hello and welcome to the Family Fashion Workshop channel. Today we have a special guest, Vitaly Shrigunov. Hello everyone. You already know Vitaly. Those who follow the Global Fashion Workshop know that he's one of our experts and mentors of our participants. Also, Vitaly is a great denim designer. Hello, everyone. He's going to tell us about himself, but I'd like to say that when I enrolled to study, Vitaly Shriganov was already making some great male jeans, just so you know. Actually, I'm not an artist, I'm not a magician, I'm only learning. Denim is such a fabric where any defects become effects. This is probably the most democratic fabric. Maybe that is why I chose it. We're for freedom. That is why jeans are the symbol of revolution and freedom. And we're quite free people. Today we're going to make a great piece for the upcoming summer season, despite all the current house chores. I think that the house chores will end soon. And soon you'll need this thing. Every lady, either way, has a pair of such jeans at home that she doesn't use anymore, yet cannot throw them away. I have a piece of advice. If you feel bad using your jeans, rummage through your husband's closet while he's at work. In fact, it will be even better if you use male jeans because they're more roomy. Ladies are usually smaller. Today we are going to make a big shopping bag out of these jeans to go to a supermarket, a farmer's market or elsewhere. Also, just with a slight hand gesture, it'll become a spectacular bag for traveling or going to the beach. We will need a pair of jeans, thread, scissors, a ruler and a sling like this one. You can get one from a child's backpack or a bag. I think many of you have one of those. Or you can buy it at the nearest store, it costs pennies. We will only need two and a half meters of this sling, here it is. I think you can also find it at any shoe store. Everything's on hand, the simplest sewing machine, there's minimum work here. That is why absolutely anyone can make this bag while sitting at home bored during this quarantine time and anticipating summer. Well, shall we start? Let's start. So where do we start? First off, we need to make the shape of the bag. Pay attention, please. These jeans are made by Vitaly Shriganov. Here are all the tags and everything. So we didn't just bring any jeans here for you. Let's touch the world of beauty. Let's show it like this. Do you see it? Oh, I touched the world of beauty. Yes, you did. Let's get to it. What do we start with? First, we need to make the bag itself. I think we need a ruler first. Let's make it simpler. This is what we'll do. We've decided to work with handy things, and the ruler is here just in case. We'll fold them like this, in half. You don't need to stress over it. Take it and fold it. No ruler. This is the thing that should be rough. Take them and cut, like so. Turned out not very neatly, but we'll trim. Now we're placing the second one. Well, for me, denim has always been complicated. I think saint people sew them. So this is it. We've cut. Here we have this thing. We'll remove it. You can wear them first as shorts and then make a bag. The shorts are slowly turning into... Let's take them like so, look, without ruining the inseam. It is still the inseam so far. We cut and we cut neatly. And now the shorts are slowly turning into a spectacular skirt, but with a very low cut. Here is what we've got. Now another move with scissors. We take this middle seam neatly and also without ruining it. 
and cut it until this reinforcement stitch where we have a so-called fly shield. See how it's done? Now we're turning them over and doing the same with this seam, exactly to this groove or edging. How do I say this better? Groove, most likely. We cut until this point. How do you not feel bad cutting your own creation? Now we are making this thing out of this bag. I mean, we need to make it like a bag so that it doesn't stick out. With this seam here, it lays on its own, see? We take the pins and just pin it to make it easier. And so it'll lay like this. One should not be afraid of jeans because, I'll probably repeat myself, unlike any classic fabric, wool or silk, denim is fine with this sort of sloppiness. And here, if you didn't stitch neatly, you can stitch again. I feel like we're going to set the tone for the beach fashion. We do the same here. I mean, we just even it out, this tilt right here. Of course, we'll baste it a little bit, but it's not very convenient to work with denim. We can use the sewing machine directly. Yes, yes, you can. If you make the stitches horizontally, then it'll be more convenient for you to use the sewing machine. Now we take the remaining pant leg. We cut this part, we'll definitely use it, neatly, not under the seam, so that you have this ring that we will use later. And here's what we do. We need to close this part here, right? The same way, don't be shy. As they say, the scariest part for an artist is fear itself. Oh great, and here I'm thinking how it will fit here. Actually, we have a pretty nice seam here. And here's what we can do. Yes, that's good, right? Yes, wonderful. Ah! Just a rough cut. Later we'll trim it anyway. Let me help. Maybe pin? Yes, please. You do this one and I'll do the other one. Exactly the same way, evenly. Some people who lean towards perfectionism can place all of this on a lining, snip off the belt, but I think it's a waste of time. The wait is over, it's spring, it's time to live. It's time, it's time. This is a special sort of thing. It's difficult to work with four hands, but I decided to use this chance to work with the master of male genes. Actually, from the side we looked at, it looks like a skirt. Yes, a skirt. Here, a very nice skirt. But this will be in another video. Here we have another excess left over. We don't need this seam, it'll make an extra thickness. We pin the same way, here. So we're only sewing these two parts, and then we'll have only to trim it nicely. To trim it along the hemline and make the bottom out of this pant leg here. Ah, so it will have a bottom. Wow! Of course. What if we want to go buy potatoes? After all, we're in the Cuban, the South. We'll go to get potatoes, tomatoes. It's so much better and more showy than using a cheap plastic bag. We have a shopping cart at home. Even better. You probably buy in bulk and get groceries for a whole week. Tell me, how did you entertain yourself during the most strict lockdown times? 
the most strict ones, it's just that we had a baby during the quarantine, so we had our hands full, entertained ourselves with the baby. We prepared well for the quarantine. We married before the quarantine and had a baby before the quarantine. Actually, a friend of mine got married during the quarantine. She said, it was so nice, I didn't have to spend much on a dress. I took some laces to decorate my mask made of gimp lace, made a bow tie with a nice mask for my husband, glued some sparkles and that was it, everything was beautiful. Put some mascara on and that's it. And if one uses glasses as required, then one can switch with someone else. Just make sure there's no confusion. Okay, basically we've prepared the first part here. Let me cut here very neatly. And we're proceeding to the sewing machine, right? Or first... Let's do something else here that we need, so that we don't go back and forth here. We have these slings here, I've already prepared them. One is about two meters. Well, about a meter and a half. A meter and a half. This will be a long handle. And here we'll make two handles at once the same way out of these one and a half meters. And we'll have a very important thing. We cut these two. Here they are. Two handles. And using these two rings, we need to make sure they are identical. We cut them like this, the same way. We will need about this much for a handle, right? I got it. We're sort of making a handle like this. So that it feels comfortable in your hand. Only we'll need a pin with a fastener and we don't have one here. It's coming up. Here we have two handles, here they are, and we look for the middle. Please note that I'm not trying to measure anything, I just do it by eye. Just the way I like it. Because if you don't do this professionally, you may find yourself losing interest very quickly when you have to measure things all the time. And this is not serious clothing, this is just a simple thing where accuracy is not important. Now we are looking for the middle. Here is our handle. It's important that we make these few marks. I'm going to explain in a second. Uh, let me mark this first. Can you give me a hand here a bit? Okay, now we're going to sew and stitch this thing so that... Uh, and then we'll put this thing on. Wow, this is a ready handle. A ready-made handle. Super. Of course, we can fix it. No, let's not. Yes, this will be easier for us. I think it'll work out. If you have a wider hemline at the bottom, then you can put it inside. If not, then you can unpick it and just pipe it. Or sew it again. Yes, it will feel good in your hand, it won't chafe, and it's very beautiful. That's it, we are ready to stitch. We're proceeding to the sewing machine. The first thing we do is... We're preparing the handle. I mean, we need to fold this in half here. Where we marked before. And stitch from the mark, from here to here. Sew it together, stitching. And we stitch the second one the same way. Yes, we prepare two pieces at once. Okay, please note that we use the stitch frequency approximately at three. So, four or five stitches per centimeter. Because it has to be fixed well. You'll have this thing here. Here we take it like this, so that we don't go against the grain. Now we fix. This is great. 
That's it. Now it has to come inside. We repeat the process with the second handle. Here it is. One, two, three. It goes in and out easily. Here you'll need to put in some effort because this is denim. Ta-da! This is it. Great, so is this okay or...? What can go wrong? Let's fix it more. Oh, okay. Then I'll put the second one inside and you fix. What's it called? A fabricated section? <laughs> we can start up a production site on creating denim bags. Considering the popularity of recycling old clothes, this is very relevant, so why not? That's it, here's our bag. So, please subscribe to our channel and follow us. I'm going to clean this up a bit here. I did something here. Is it twisted? Yes. No, you should do it this way and back. Now back again. That's oh, it? see what a cool handle. La la la, la la la. You can almost go to the market. Actually, we're now going to fix the parts that we pinned. And here's another thing. Some people can carry it like this to show off a bit. Others maybe, if they fear for the safekeeping of their stuff, they can just make this seam and stitch it. Let's stitch this seam. Yes, because it's a bag that will have things inside. <laughs> Basically just overlap and go. Sorry. Here I'll go along the fly shield seam. Oh, you're stitching the bag already. One, two. <laughs> so here we already have marked lines where we should stitch. Maybe someone will want to take contrast threads, for example, blue or red. It's best to use the finishing thread in tone with the top stitch, so that there's no color overkill. So, stitching round. We had a tutorial on jeans, when we cut children's jeans and made the fringes, stitched a net. If you missed it, please watch it. It's also very interesting, because in fact denim is an endless topic, moving from one to another. It's timeless, and in this current situation with unclear needs of a person sitting at home, my personal observation, if you're working from home and wear jeans instead of sweatpants or pajamas, then you still keep yourself in check. Toned. Yes, it's like you're in a work mode. Let's do a reinforcement stitch for strength, right? We need to stitch the second seam again. Here it is again. Of course, you can stitch several times, just in case. Depending on what things you plan to carry there. Yes, that's it. We've secured it. Taking it out. Now we need to unpin. Unpinning and going back to the table. We have turned our bag inside out and we can see some sloppy parts because we made almost all of it with no measuring. Now to make it look nice without bits and pieces sticking out, 
we just need to cut all of this off, leaving about 1.5 centimeters of allowance. 1.5 to 2 centimeters. There is nothing wrong with that. And now we'll press it behind the camera and return to work. We have the second part of the pant leg left. We've pressed the bag, but for now it's a skirt. And we're going to make the bottom. Approximately 14 to 15 centimeters, depending on the width of the pant leg, you just mark equal distances along the side seam, the one that's not stitched. So you'll just have a rectangle. Equal, approximately. Well, not approximately. We do need a rectangle. Ah, I got it. We'll cut it in double and it'll be wide. I understood. Yes, we'll just have the bottom. Great. This will be such a wide bag. Well, you do buy more than one or two potatoes at a time, and you'll also need tomatoes. Okay, we lay it over the bag, and we need to have enough clearance. How much do we have? About 10 to 15 centimeters. 15 centimeters. We'll distribute these 15 centimeters to these edges. The edges, yes. Here is exactly 15 centimeters. We are just rounding the cuts. We can do it by eye or draw it. Still by eye. Now, during the process, we can collect it, and if it's larger, then we can stretch it. It's not that important. So, here we have a pretty good bag. You can fit everything for the beach here. Towel and sunglasses? A mat. And now, the most important thing. Look what we've got. We fold it along the side seam. We need to centralize this thing, because we're forming it now. Here are the side seams. Look, we fold it four times. Four times, and we find the centers. We make the notches for ourselves right here. So that we can match this. Literally millimeters, like that. And here we also find the center. Somebody will have a bag soon. This is me hinting that someone needs a denim bag. Of course. That's it. Next, we start forming the bottom. What do we call it? Stitching. Where is the center? Here it is. Pinny, do you need help? Yes, working with two hands. Our cameramen don't like it when we work with two hands. They don't know who to film. In fact, first we start from the center. We connect seams with seams. And then, as I call it, slotting of the sleeve is starting here. Only here, fitting is not important. You'll be stitching around inside this time, right? Yes, it goes around. This will be a very serious bag. But here, everything is perfectly even. <laughs> I was afraid that there would be an extra bottom. Most importantly, do not be afraid. The artist is scared of fear, and it ruins the artist. It's nice to work together. You're a righty, and I'm a lefty. You don't say. How do you work with the sewing machine? Just like everything else, everyone thinks I'm doing something wrong. Here I actually have a little excess in the bottom. I don't. Of course, I cheated a bit. I fitted a little, very little in some places. Don't worry about it, because next we'll be turning this fitting into an effect. We have a life hack to work with denim, because denim likes roughness. Oh, and here I have, ah, these are wide. 
you need to fit it a little. Our stitch is small, so the fitting will be perfect. Is that it? Did we get it? Almost, yes. I think that even if there's some small fold, it's okay. <laughs> yes, is that it? Is there enough? Yes. Okay, I'm removing this. Well, pay attention when you're stitching there. So we've made the bottom. Let's turn it this way. This is the bottom. We've pinned it. Now we're going to stitch it around on a sewing machine. Again, because we don't trim the cut. That's not our goal. We'll make an allowance for about two centimeters, more is better than less, and just stitching around, stitching the bottom. It's better to stitch along the top part, the main part, because we can spread the fitting here. As for the bottom, it'll be the way it is, but it's fine. We're stitching the seam around. Now, those who cleaned up their closets and threw away their old jeans are kicking themselves. Well, I have no idea how. What did you do during the most strict lockdown? Well, it's easier for me. I do most of my work at home. So, I sewed a lot during the lockdown. Oh, how interesting! I think as most of our subscribers. Yes, we did a lot of work. Of course, we sewed masks for our clients as well. Some people asked us to make home clothing, so we were busy the whole time. Unpinning and ironing, and coming back to the handles. Do we need to stitch the handles? Yes. Then maybe we'll stitch the handles now and iron later? Let's turn the bag right side out now. So we're turning it out. And here we see a good spacious sack. It's wonderful. It's good. Cool. Okay, let's see. Now let's stitch the handles. We have two handles here. Let's start from here. No, better from here, because we have this beauty here. And we'll go from here. As for the sling, we'll stitch it this way. We'll stitch it like so. Where do the pins go? You do it and I'll help. We align ourselves by this bag brand. It's also called a patch. It's interesting that, in authentic jeans, it is usually made of leather. But nowadays we're going green and all that. That's why now it's made of recycled bags and cardboard. They call it a vegan patch. Now we are done here. Let's switch to the other side. It's important that when you fold the side seams, they're still moved forward, as in any other trousers. But you need the handles to be parallel. So you align them with these loops, like so. I can give pins. Andres noticed since the first course. He used to say, only Paukste can give pins correctly. A friend of mine doesn't like to cook, so she says, I make a great Russian salad, but I'm best at pouring mayonnaise in it. <laughs> so we've pinned the handles here, and now we need to stitch them like so. Next, we unpin, refold, and restitch to the top. Hold on, and give me the large handle. Okay, so we will wear it over the shoulder so that it looks nice, correct? So we need to stitch it somewhere 
The belt is here. Oh, I lost track. You're making everything so quickly, but you need to pay attention. We're stitching directly along the side seam near the entry to the pocket or a bit lower from the fold. We could use clasps, but I think that we can fold the belt and stitch it here. I think the belt is the most reliable here. Yes, if it's sewed on, it'll be very reliable. It's not going anywhere. Okay, and one more needle. This is it. We're stitching. We're also stitching. I think we'll show how to stitch one, and then we'll stitch the rest behind the camera. We'll do it this way. What's it called? Flaps? When you stitch the garment without lining? Yes, this stitch. Let's do a reinforcement stitch. Several times so that it's secured. Yes, because we'll be buying lots of potatoes and apples. I have to go with this bag, but I hope that Vitaly will give it to me as a present, of course. Watch in Instagram. So as not to cut the thread, we're stitching around. Is that it? That's it. Now we'll stitch all the handles, iron the bottom behind the camera, and we'll be right back. Are we going to make rivets? Yes, we'll decorate this part with rivets. Again, we'll add an extra fixing. Super! Well, our bag is almost ready. Oh, what a wonderful bag! Now we need to decorate it, which is the most beautiful part. But we also need to reinforce it. We use an awl to make a couple of holes. Again, you can have this done at any repair shop where they repair furniture or shoes. Look what a cool thing Vitaly brought here today. Very heavy. Yes, it is impressive. Let's do rivets, and then something else, something very interesting. Well, actually, the preparation is finished, and we take this scary machine and press. May I try the second one? Sure, go ahead. I need to do at least something finishing, so to speak. Press with all your weight. Don't be afraid. That's it. I think it worked. <laughs> Yay, we did it and now we'll rub. The bag is finished and now you can actually use it. Let's set this thing aside here. And we have one of these things that you put on your hand. Is this a sandpaper? Is it special or a usual one? This is regular sandpaper from a hardware store. But it has this sort of loop on it that you put your hand in. All good jeans that you buy at a store are rubbed like this by hand. No lasers involved or anything like that. We make this bag look old naturally. We need to make it look as if we've used it for a while now. We are writing the bag's history. We just rub it like this. Oh, how cool! Please note what we did here. If you remember, we had some folds and so on. All of this becomes the history of this bag. And the bag starts to look like a store-bought bag. What's curious is that, in addition, these seams will look even better if you wash this bag in a washing machine. I'll wash it when I go home. I'm hinting and hinting. Of course, it's yours. You're a mother. You have tons of stuff to do. I can fit a whole baby in it. Yay, I'll have a bag. You see these folds, how nice they've become? See those defects I talked about? 
They look really nice now. May I finish rubbing it? We'll show you how it looks. The handles should look like they've seen life. As if we've already carried a ton of potatoes in it. Tons of adventure, beaches. We're talking about potatoes. I need to buy some and fry today. That's all. Enjoy. Oh, look at this cool bag. How do I wear it? Can I wear it this way? Just like that. Now look, you can wear it this way. Let's take it. Ah, thank you so much. And over the shoulder. You can fit anything here. For those who paint, those who carry something, you can fit the whole life in here. Enjoy. Thank you. Let me hug you. Thank you. That's it for today's video. This has been the Family Fashion Workshop channel. All the best from Olga Paukste and Vitaly Shriganov. Have a great spring, summer, seasons, happiness, health, success in love and personal life. Yours, Vitaly. And all our great team. Subscribe to our channel, like and comment. Until next time, bye.